A restaurant striving to be the best burger and cocktail restaurant in the world. Yes, that is literally a quote from the restaurant, guys. Today we are in Buffalo, New York. Yes, one of my favorite northern cities at Mr. Sizzles, taking on their Sizzle Challenge. Yes, their Sizzle Challenge or Sizzle Out Challenge or something like It's something like that. Anyway, guys, this is a giant, giant, giant burger challenge. The place is all about smash burgers, fried chicken, and milkshakes. And that's exactly what we have today. This challenge consists of 12, yes, 12 different burgers and or chicken sandwiches. It is nuts. It is probably upwards of 10 pounds of food. Uh, it is, like I said, this is huge. But I've heard amazing things about this place. And like I said, they literally are, and I quote and I read, striving to be the best burger and cocktail restaurant in the world so i'm going to say this is going to be the best burgers in the world hey i mean i'm down for it i'll trust them so for this challenge guys we have i believe it is nine or ten of their actual burgers and then three two or three of the fried chicken sandwiches they actually also won an award recently for the best fried chicken sandwich in buffalo pretty cool um there's so many different kinds of burgers i'm just going to get you the details when we arrive i know it is a 30 minute time limit and about a 120 dollar price tag um 100 120 somewhere in that range so it's pretty steep pretty big the stakes are high but that being said guys if you want beef then bring the ruckus you know what i'm saying any long story short i'm excited i'm i love a good smash burger and uh, i love good fried chicken and we're in buffalo so let's go have fun eat food and let's get a rock and roll let's go eat everyone so here we are with all the food it looks absolutely delicious but there is no shortage so in front of me i have the sizzle, kind of a classic smash burger with their sizzle sauce. And then have the classic, a classic smash burger. And then have the in a jiffy, which is made with peanut butter, cream cheese spread, jelly, jalapenos, which sounds really good. I have the saucy cowboy. We got some uh, bacon. We have uh, barbecue sauce. I have the Royale, which is, I guess, a very like traditional kind of buffalo thing. We have what they call like sub oil, fried capicola. I have the Mr. Fun Guy, which is like a mushroom burger. I have the Funky Fresh, which is a whole big slice of blue cheese on it. Buffalo and blue cheese go hand in hand. I then have the Holy Cow, which we got some pepper jack cheese, a jalapeno jam, which looks delicious. I then have some fried chicken sandwiches, guys, which I'm so, so, so excited for. This one is absolutely insane. This is called the Melted Hen, the grilled cheese buns, absolutely giant. I then have the I Love Honey with a hot honey on here. And these ones are so messy, but they look so, so, so delicious. This is what they call the West Side Hot. This is like a buffalo rendition on a Nashville hot chicken where it's oil dredged, but it has buffalo mix in it. And then back here we have the sizzle stinger so this is actually beef and chicken on this sandwich i'm so excited to get into this i've been dying for some good burgers some good buffalo chicken guys you can't go wrong with buffalo chicken in buffalo so like we said 30 minutes let's get started here just momentarily i don't like where to start is the question i'm probably going to start with who uh maybe just like the classic the classic smash burger i'm gonna put it over here and then I can give myself a bit of a ketchup pile. Shout out ketchup. I do love ketchup. But yeah, guys, like we said, Mr. Sizzle, revolutionizing burger, creating the best burger in the world. So, how about we get started? We'll say the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Wow. Guys, look at that. Beautiful cross section. That is simplicity at its best. Pickles, onions, ketchup, mustard. Mm. Super savory patty. Mm. Soft bun. You do not get better than that. Classic American burger. The sizzle, basically the same, but with their sizzle sauce. Mm. Oh, wow. So this is like a buffalo kind of sauce. 
It's kind of like a mustard dressing. Mm. Mm. Very good. Crazy how much that sauce changes the, the, the taste and flavor of it. Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Today we are here at Mr. Sizzle in Buffalo, New York. Yes, and as you can see the sign in the back says Buffalo Sense Always, representing Buffalo Heart. That's one thing I love about Buffalo. Like I said, it's one of my favorite kind of Northern American cities. They just have this strong kind of Buffalo um, pride, this strong Buffalo identification, and uh, it's really cool to see and I really like it. And generally the people are super friendly. It's like a little big town. Next, we'll try the mushroom burger here. This looks good. Mm. Oh, yeah. This will be a provolone on. Totally different flavor, of course. So here we are taking on the absolutely giant sizzle out challenge. So like we said, so many burgers, so many fried chicken sandwiches, um, one or one fried chicken sandwich even being a burger and a fried chicken sandwich like a beef burger. Um, this was a lot of food and I knew I was definitely going to have to, you know, kind of put my head down to make sure we were going to be able to complete this in the only 30 minute time limit. Um, so one thing I really did appreciate and I really did like was just how fresh and how good tasting everything was. The beef was absolutely so delicious, so rich and juicy and tasty. Awesome so far. Let's try this Royale again. So kind of a buffalo traditional thing with the fried capicola. Wow. That was really good. I just want that sub oil. Mm. Mm. Man, the cured flavors, delicious. Look at that sauce just goosing out the bottom. Mm. This reminds me of like, uh, I don't know, Buffalo pizza slash like sub sandwich of some sort. Very, very delicious. And you could tell through the smash burger that they were using a really high fat content beef, which I mean, when it comes to a smash burger, just makes a whole world of difference. It is just a life changing feature. This doesn't even taste like a burger. Total game changer. And that's what you want when you have a smash burger, that high heat, that fat, add that kind of texture, that almost, I don't know if crispness is the right word, but that nice meaty texture, which is you know so nice and thin and just melt in your mouth, fall apart. Not to mention all their house-made sauces were just so delectable. I mean, we had everything from peanut butter cream cheese spread to jalapenos to different house-made aiolis. You know, we had um, everything on it. Blue cheese. Let's try this one with the blue cheese. Yes, the blue cheese. This is the funke fresh, I think they called it. The funke, different pronunciation. So that you can't get more buffalo than blue cheese. Mm. Woo! Wow, blue cheese and bacon. And that's not even talking about the chicken sandwiches. If you see how crazy those chicken sandwiches were looking, they looked so juicy, so moist, they looked so saucy, they looked nice and spicy. I was hoping I was really gonna be able to get to those chicken sandwiches, because they looked so good. And uh, they recently had won an award um, for the chicken sandwiches. And man, I tell you what, I was just so impressed. I mean, you know, on their website, they literally say they're striving for the best burger in the world. And I gotta say, when it comes to smash burgers, they have some delicious burgers. That may be one of the best blue cheese burgers I've ever had. Mm. Just the flavor. Woo. Now we were in the quest for the free meal and the t-shirt, and this is definitely an expert challenge. Blue cheese, bacon, sauteed onions and that garlic aioli, fire. A lot of food, everybody, but super delicious. A bit over six minutes in. Um, well, I would say, let's try this one here. 
This is the, uh, I don't even remember which one this is, but maybe, the, oh, the holy cow. Holy cow, guys, this one's supposed to be spicy. Mmm. Oh, man. Jalapeno. Ooh, that is good. They also had some other really cool features on the menu, like desserts. This may be my favorite so far, guys. Jalapeno jam. It's nice, sweet, and, and spicy. And even just straight up bacon. Yes, you can buy straight up bacon. And then that lovely smash burger. And bacon. Man, that's a good taste in your mouth. But with that, everybody, there's lots of natural commentary. So I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Hopefully we can complete this challenge. And ultimately, let's see what happens. The website says they're in the quest or, you know, having the best burger ever. That is damn good. That is hard to beat. Woo! I approve. Holy crap. And some of these are giant, like the size of these. Well, I'm doing so many burgers. Maybe I'll try fried chicken. I'll try the, um, hmm. I'll try this one here. So this is the sizzle stinger. So we get the buttermilk fried chicken, buffalo sauce, the burger patty. Definitely one of the biggest sandwiches here. It's like a, the sizzle is like a buffalo thing. So this is like elevated. Excuse me, comments to the chef. Ugh, really, delicious. Wow. Holy crap. Everybody, talk about buffalo, talk about rich. That is a mouthful right there. That is damn good though. Mmm. Mmm. And what a big bite. Mm. Man, but that's that sauce, the buffalo sauce. Definitely not traditional buffalo, it's pretty spicy. Guys, that's delicious. Some up buffalo and blue cheese in this bite with that, that delicious kind of rich smash burger. Ten and a half minutes in, just been over halfway. That was awesome. I gotta say though, good bit of spice on that chicken sandwich. Um, sure, here, why not? We'll have the saucy cowboy, bacon, pickle. Mm. Nothing wrong with that. The uh, barbecue sauce on it's like uh, almost more like an Alabama white kind of barbecue sauce. It's not like a tr traditional thick brown barbecue sauce. Let me know down below if you prefer a crispy or a soft bacon. I like a little bit of both. All right, no shortage of napkins being used today. Woo! I'll try this uh, I Love Honey one with uh, hot honey. Mm. Wow! Bread and butter pickle. Ooh, that is sweet and savory. And you know, they re recently won an award for the best uh, fried chicken sandwich in Buffalo. And then there were three. Woo! Very delicious. These, these, like, all these three are nuts. These are just crazy creations. West Side Hot, Messy, uh, Messy Hen, I think it's called. Melted Hen, Melted Hen. And then the uh, In a Jiffy, guys. These are, yeah, this is a, uh, oh, this is like picking the three of the, I don't know, the crazy ones, whatever you want to call it. Let's give this one a go. So, ooh, excuse me, another huge bite. 
fried chicken sandwich, grilled cheese is buns. <sighs> Excuse me. Woo. I don't know if I can actually fit this all in a bite. Barely. Mmm. That bacon. Huge sandwich. Lots of cheese on that. Nice sauce though. I like the fried chicken, it is very crispy. That yeah, bacon and fried chicken combo. And if you made this point in the video, you are a real star. Thank you for watching, not just skipping through the video. Thank you for hitting that like button. Thank you for subscribing as well. To let me know that you made it in this point, comment down below, wow, that guy's hair. Or, I can't believe that guy's hair. Or something about that guy's hair. Something cut the side of my mouth. Try and take two big bites. Big sandwich. Let's try this West Side Hot. We're getting kind of the rendition on a Buffalo slash Nashville. And then I'm gonna try that in a jiffy, in a jiffy. No pun intended. And that's just like dessert. Cream cheese, pea butter. Jelly and jalapenos. All right, although, Shout out this sandwich, that just looks like a crazy, crazy thing. Wow! Woo! Talk about flavor! It is incredibly rich. This alone would fill you up. Definitely a burst of flavor on that one though. Last but not least, in a jiffy. Cream cheese, peanut butter spread, jelly, jalapenos. I'm excited. Whoa. Wow. Okay. All right, hold on. Let me get one more bite. I'm going to tell you what it tastes like. So you really get the sweetness of that jelly. And it's really complimented with like a cream, cheesy, peanut butterness. Have you ever had a peanut butter pie? It reminds me of peanut butter pie with like jelly. We were just say a burger tastes like pie, but it's great. You know, the funny thing is if I was blindfolded and given a bite of this, I would not know it's a burger. It just, it, the flavor is just blend. Get some of the shrapnel. Finish there? Finish. Woo! All right, T. Well, that was a lot of food. No joke to say the least, about 23 minutes, maybe 40 seconds or so. It's a lot of food, guys. That was a lot of food. It was something. One time, a lot of people who come see me live, they, they've heard this story, but one time there was a very, very, very elderly lady and she came and approached me after I finished eating something very large. And she said, you know, that was half amazing and half disgusting. And I said, that's exactly what it is. So 
you know, you gotta have fun with it. But uh, wow, oh, I got some air in me. It'll come, got a burp coming. We'll let it brew. Anyway, guys, like I said, super, super delicious. Mr. Sizzle got some fire, fire, fire burgers. Honestly, like I said, it was, for me, that Holy Cow Burger was one of the best burgers I've had in an incredibly, incredibly long time. And I eat a lot of burgers. Every other burger was fantastic. I really enjoyed them all. I had such a variety. It was crazy to have some, like I said, like that in a jiffy. Like I said, I, if, if I was blind, you know, folded taste test, I would not have known there was, that was a burger I was tasting. It's just so like rich, savory, peanut butter, jelly. It was really, really good. Fried chickens were really good as well. I think my personal favorite was probably that sizzle stinger um, or the, uh, I'll go with the sizzle stinger. Just the, the buffalo, that blue cheese, that beef and that chicken patty together actually goes so, so, so well. Um, yeah, this was a lot of food though, everybody. This was absolutely insane. Definitely don't recommend you eating 12 of these burgers in one sitting. But if you wanted to come essentially eat the whole menu, maybe over the span of a month or so, I'm sure they would be happy to see you. And if you come on by, tell them you watch this guy eat way too much food, maybe they'll have a good laugh. Maybe they'll give you extra pickles or something. I don't know. The pickles are really good. Um, but of that, everybody, that's pretty much about that. So we did get a meal free, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I definitely have had enough burgers. I'll put it that way. Two questions, though. One thing on this menu. What is a moose track pork rinds? Okay, so because you probably didn't hear that. You're, wait, we're talking literal pork rinds? Okay, like chicharrones? Okay, so they have on the menu moose track pork rinds. They said this is like a chicharron, like a pork rind. Right there on my finger. With hot fudge, peanut butter, and sugar on top. What the heck is that? That is all I can say. But maybe I'll give it a try. I'm good for a bite. They're also very well known for their milkshakes. Large variety of milkshakes here. Which, I mean, they have all kinds of different malted ones and other flavors. I don't know if I could fit much more, to be honest. That was a lot, a lot of food. But I think we've got to try the Moose Track Pork Rinds. Maybe a milkshake, just because the burger milkshake really is the specialty here. Although that fried chicken, like I said, they just won an award for the best fried chicken in Buffalo, and not to sleep on that. So uh, let's get back here in just a moment. I'll share a bite with you. Moose track pork rinds. Wow. Hi, everyone. So this is just insane. Look at this. This is literally chicharrones smothered in hot fudge, peanut butter sauce, and confectionery sugar not calorie free nor are these milkshakes I got a vanilla malt if you're not familiar with a malt malt is like they add like malt powder or whatever to it malted milk generally adds kind of like a bit of a nutty ish it's generally associated with like old style diners and stuff and then I had their feature of the month which is a uh, peanut butter and basically marshmallow fluff milkshake with these which is crazy they use a 14% like dairy fat and ice cream so it's super 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 rich so these are going to be like everything here is going to be a knockout i gotta say like i don't know i don't like, let's just i'm gonna try one of these okay it is warm but look guys they actually make these in house every day it is crispy Ooh, peanut butter let's give this a try i've never had a sweet chicharron Okay. Whoa. Check out that crunch though. Holy crap, guys, one more time. Okay. That is insane. Can I have some napkins? These are worthy of napkins. Okay. So there's like a spice on this and the chicharron. Which is like, I don't know, almost like a fry spice or I want to say like tacos or Cuban or something. Which is like the coolest. It's a great flavor itself. But then you throw in the chocolate and the peanut butter. Mind blowing. 
There is so much going on in my mouth right now. In the best way possible. Yeah, it is like sweet. It's not like overly distinctually peanut butter or chocolate. It all just really blends. I have no clue who came up with this idea. But it oddly works. Oddly works, like I said, if somebody would, again, eyes closed, taste tested this. I would have no clue what I was eating. But that's not a bad thing. This is really interesting. I do like it. I gotta say. At five bucks, this is totally worth trying. I even go as far as that's a steal of a deal. Mm. A hot sizzling deal. Mm. Okay. Crazy. Rich. Sweet. Crispy. Bizarre. But delicious. Okay. So now, let's try these milkshakes before I go in a diabetic coma. This looks delicious. Whipped cream, cherry on top. Old style diner. Glass. Malted vanilla. I think that was pretty thick. Whoa. Okay, one more time. Mm. Talk about a rich shake. We can really taste that malt in there. I've never had a malted vanilla before, usually have a malted chocolate. Just really like nutty, almost a little bit like toasty. Man, that is a rich, creamy milkshake. And I think it's the way to put it. It's not that it's like overly, overly thick. But man, is it creamy. It packs a punch. Whipped cream. Woo! That's calorie free, right? Absolutely. Woo, thank God. Thank God. A little worried there. All right, last but not least, peanut butter and marshmallow fluff in a jiffy. I really like that burger. I have high expectations. Holy crap, woo, guys, yes. Mm. That is so rich. Oh my gosh, peanut butter, sweet. Oh man, that fluff, marshmallow fluff, gives it like fluffer, nutter kind of vibe. Definitely adds to the sweetness of that. Holy jump is up. That is a rich, thick milkshake. 14% dairy fat. The ice cream and peanut butter. That is insane. Wow. This will, this could fill up like 10 people. Anyway, long story short, I'm about to die. That was delicious. But that, everybody, I want to be a huge thanks over here, Mr. Sizzles. Definitely, definitely an amazing burger, amazing fried chicken, amazing experience. Thoroughly enjoyed it all. So that, everybody, that's about it. If you're ever in Buffalo, definitely stop on by. Cool neighborhood here, really cool location. Buffalo as always, shout out Buffalo Strong. So everyone, until next time, of course, happy, happy, hungry, happy eating. That's about it.
that's literally it. So, till next time, have a lovely day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.